Hear ye, hear ye, here comes the judge. It is the Yogi Judge, Judge Dawson, with another podcast aimed at giving you information, tools, and tips on how you can avoid negative interaction with the legal system. But even more than that, ways that you can live your absolute best life. If you've been following my journey, you know I've been in the practice of law for over 20 years and a judge for over 12 years. And it is my mission to take all of that information and provide you with tools that you can use and do it in a way that doesn't take a lot of your time and hopefully it gets your attention. So if these podcasts have given you anything, any tips, please share them. Like, share, spread the word, spread the joy, spread the information so that we can join together and grow as a community. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you really quickly. And you know, if you've been listening to me, you know, I don't hold you long. I try to give you information that you can use and then we move on, right? Because you have life to do. I have life to do. We all have things to do. So instead of just holding you with these podcasts that are super long, I want to give you something that you can grab, take and use to your benefit. So I have been going deep into the process of figuring out the concept of energy. The energy that we have, it's it's such a deep concept. It's such a deep journey because we tend to just floss over it and gloss over it really, really quickly. The fact that, you know, there's energy. I don't have good energy. I have bad energy, but energy is important. And really, you know, it kind of sparked my interest when I decided to change my language personally. I would find myself after court or even in the middle of court and during the day saying, man, I am tired. And I realized that just by saying those words, how I changed my energy, it wasn't a good change. It was a bad change. But then that gave me the strength and power to realize that we can actually change our energy. We can actually use what's going on in our body to affect what's happening outside of our bodies. We can use the energy and the relationship between our energy, our mind, our brain, our body, our our organs and then change how we are expressing ourselves in the physical realm. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So really quickly today, I want you to consider this. Your body is going to manifest the energy that you tell it to manifest. It really will. So if you're telling yourself you're tired, best believe you will be tired. If you allow the stress of your job, the stress of your friendships, the stress of your relationships to take over, you will manifest that in your body. You'll have pain, you'll have discomfort, your stomach will hurt. So there is a real connection between mind and body and then the energy that we put into it. So what I suggest is that we are very intentional. We become even more intentional about how we express our energy, how we use our energy and how we refuel our energy. Because I think the common goal that we all have is to live our best lives. The common goal that we all have is to manifest ourselves in ways that we are achieving our goals. And you cannot do that if your energy is off. You know, in Chinese medicine, they. For example, the Chinese, you know, Chinese medicine, Chinese medicine, we hear about it. We talk about it. You know, sometimes we explore it in some of these little stores that we have in our neighborhoods. But they have a very detailed theory on healing. A lot of it deals with organic medicine and different practices that we don't subscribe to but when it comes to energy they believe that a lot of the ailments that we have a lot of the diseases that we have are a reflection of the energy that is going into our lives the stress the trauma the anxiety they believe there's a connection between stress trauma anxiety and lung cancer heart disease many many more Now, maybe we don't believe that to the same extent here in America. But one thing for sure, if you've ever been around someone who has a brain injury, a stroke or any other trauma, you'll notice that the doctors are always inquiring as to whether or not they have a stressful life, whether or not they've been stressed or been under some type of attack or anxiety. Because even the doctors here in this country realize that there's a connection between negative and toxic energy and how it manifests itself in your life. So what is the big takeaway today, ladies and gentlemen? The takeaway today is 
We have to manage our energy. We have to guard our energy like you're guarding that wonderful loved possession that ring the jewelry the clothes the money the car everything that we feel that we value energy should be at the top of that list because when your energy is gone your life is gone all right ladies and gentlemen like i said i don't hold you long it's judge dawson i try to give you tools that you can use if this podcast or any of my podcasts have given you anything that you can take into your life and apply it Let's do that as well as share it with others. Also, if you go to my website, judgedawson.com, you can subscribe to my free email, Dose of Positivity. There are books on the website you can buy. There are other things that you can use as resources. But at the end of the day, even if you don't do any of those things, live your best life and be the best that you can be. All right. Take care. It's Judge Dawson. I'll talk to you next time.